love to help mommy. I love to help daddy. Let's help everyone. Let's help them. It's so much fun. We meet our friends. Alhamdulillah. All are pray to thank me to Allah. And that was Samara's beautiful singing. <laughs> she just grabbed my phone and started recording. And I just had to share it with the entire world. And there you go, guys. My adorable daughter. Okay. Hi, guys. This whole past week has been really stressful and just downright disappointing for me. To start out with, I feel so tired all the time. It's insane. I don't know what's going on with me. Well, turns out my vitamin D is low, so I had to start taking my vitamin D supplements. I don't know if it's an Igabi thing, but my doctor told me Asians in general have low D levels, so maybe not. But getting back to the disappointing part, as y'all know that my kids go over to my in-laws every other weekend, and I get a break from parenting. Woohoo! And my husband and I get to spend some much-needed quality time with each other. Well, that plan failed this week, and they couldn't keep the kids this weekend for a very understandable reason. And that was my disappointment number one. I was shattered, and I was sad, because I look forward to my breaks. Like, I love and adore my kids, but y'all... Every mama needs a break. And that was my break. That was like my light at the end of the tunnel every other week. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I love y'all kids. I love you guys so much. But when y'all become mothers, yeah, you'll know. <laughs> That's usually my time to catch up on things, reboot, get refreshed, and be ready to, you know, start parenting with a fresh mindset. And if you parents out there, are not taking a break for yourself, like not taking time out for yourself, please, I advise you, do it. It will be game changer. So I didn't get that this week. I didn't get my break this week, guys, which really tired me out even more, only because I'm so used to it now. My second disappointment of the week was that, you guys, I usually get a cleaning service done every week. So I have a cleaning lady that comes regularly every Friday without missing a beat alhamdulillah i love fridays all good things happen on fridays <laughs> she sparkles my home and helps me reorganize my life so then again i can start my week with a fresh mind i usually do most of the cleaning throughout the week but she comes in and does the deep cleaning bathrooms mops sweep, etc and that was honestly the best investment I ever made. I started out by just calling her when I initially had the twins because I literally could not move a finger. I was like bedridden, C-section and all, recovery. I was like, I need this house clean and I need it cleaned right now. But then I kept her <laughs> on because it's so helpful and it leaves so much free time for me to spend with my family and doing content creating, which I absolutely love to do for you guys. And thank you so much for your support. That's the big secret, guys. There you have it. This is how I keep my house so organized and clean all the time because I have help. I am not doing it alone. So this is not a one woman's job. Like this is a whole village is coming together to help me, literally. <laughs> But getting back to the disappointment part, oh my gosh, guys, she had to cancel on me this week for, again, a very legitimate reason. But I was so sad because this was my disappointment number two this week. It all happened in the same week. It was just so much for me, so overwhelming. But you know what, guys? Now that I look back at it, none of these are actually disappointing things. Like, yeah, they are, but it's fine i just feel like i have been so spoiled and taken care of in this way that these luxuries that's what i will call them luxuries that when they're taken away from me it feels like the end of the world but it isn't the end of the world not at all i used to do things where i didn't get a break i used to not have a cleaning lady but all of a sudden now that they're part of my life if they're not there anymore it's like whoa what's happening so I reframed my thinking and reminded myself that everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. And that is the mindset I'm moving forward with. Things happen, plans don't work out, we get disappointed. And that's all OK because everything happens for the best and Allah knows best.
But in another not so disappointing news, you guys, my hard work finally paid off. I have been trying to train and discipline the twins that when they don't like something or when they're finished with something, they give it to me instead of throwing it. And they're starting to do it now, guys. When they're finished with water, they give it to me. Milk, they give it to me. If there's food that they don't like or they're finished eating, instead of throwing it, they give it to me. And I'm so proud of them. Alhamdulillah. What are you doing, Zamir? Why do you have all the pillows in the world? Do somehow excited from all the upstairs and then ask, Mama, why are the pillows here? <laughs> Guys, mango is my favorite fruit and like they have a Kit Kat mango flavor and it smells so good. Let's try it. It's from India? Sick. Oh my gosh, guys, it's yellow from the outside. <laughs> it smells so heavenly. Let's try it. <laughs> yellow, the sun's again. Wafers. Oh, mango flavor. Wafers. Try it, Summer. It's like that orange cookie, the orange wafer cookie. Mm-hmm. Let's go this way! Wow. I'm talking the way. I forgot to put some here. <laughs> I'll put them in a little bit more. 